everybody, I'm Naya and welcome back to my channel. In today's pick a card reading, we're going to talk about how do they feel about you right now. This pick a card is timeless, therefore, whatever you're watching this video, that's how they're feeling right now for you, your SP, your specific person. Before I get started, I just want you to know the private readings are only available in DM chat forms and you can book them down below. And I also offer DM coaching for your manifestation. If you want to learn more about how I manifest and how I think it's the best way to manifest and the way I coach personally, you can head on to my new channel, A Radio Alchemy, that it's all about manifestation, my experiences, occultism, and all that jazz. All right? So without further ado, let's get started with your pick a card reading. So I want you guys to focus and concentrate and choose between pile number one, which is this one over here. Pause the video if you need, okay? It's not straight. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm messy, right? Pile number one. Pile number two is this one over here. And it's the only one that if you want, you can associate with a crystal, which is aquamarine. Just place it right here because I love it. And pile number three is this one over here. The timestamps are going to be provided down below. Let me know your comments and thoughts. And if it doesn't resonate, just let it fly, all right? In this channel, I'm fast, blunt, and straightforward. If that is not your cup of tea, I totally understand that. However, this is the way I read. So if you want to know the truth, that's that's your channel right there. I'm your person. Okay, so let's see together how they feel about you in the most truthful way possible. Okay, so let's start with pile number one. Okay. All right, pile number one today. I already reshuffled the cards, so we're going to find out everything together. So let's figure it out how they're feeling about you. Okay, we do have the Seven of Swords, which is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Seven of Swords represents how they're feeling about you right now. Remember, it's right now. They can change their mind at any freaking time, especially if you manifest them. But here we have the Seven of Swords. Then we have the Ace of Swords. So a lot of air energy. This person thinks a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a whole lot of love, like the Led Zeppelin song. Then we do have the Fool. Okay. I do associate the fool with Sagittarius. However, it's my association. It doesn't have to be in that way. It's just something that popped up in my mind. And then we have the strength card for the moment. I'm just going to read the tarot. Okay. So what we have over here, it's a person that is trying to strategically come at you. So I don't know what history you might have with this person or might not have. Um, the issue that I am seeing with this person is that this person lacks of confidence, okay? Now, the thing is, when they go outside in public or even in front of you, they might act like they're super confident and they care no, like, you know, zero damn about anything and they got it all they got all figured it out they got the money that they got it all right but it's not true with the seven of swords they are very strategic about everything that they do the way they portray themselves no sorry my dog is barking um they're very strategic about the way they portray themselves and they're very strategic about who they hang out with and what to say in order to get people to fall from them but this, it's only a mask in order to mask insecurity with the strength card. Because the strength card for me represents that they lack confidence and they feel quite lost. And that's the reason why they need all these games that they're playing. This could be also, I'm sorry to be straightforward, but the energy of a player now. That doesn't mean, though, that they don't like you. I'm not saying that, pile number one. I'm saying this is who you're dealing with at the moment, okay? Now, how do they feel about you? They want to message you. They want to communicate with, with you. They want to have a new beginning with you. However, due to the lack of confidence, they're trying to find strength within themselves to take a leap of faith towards you. And we will have to clarify why that is. Why do they feel so insecure? about taking a leap of faith towards you. But what I'm seeing is that spirit is guiding them to take this leap of forward towards you because maybe you're good for them. 
you're just good for them or whatever it could be, but they really want to communicate with you. And it could even be with the Ace of Swords that they want to be truthful to you. They might not be truthful with anyone else, but they want to be truthful to you. Now, if you know in your heart that you're not dealing with a player, then the Seven of Swords just implies that they're insecure and they're trying to take the shortcut to get to you but they lack confidence in doing that. And so it's almost like they're waiting for a sign to be pushed out of this cliff and be like, okay, I will message pile number one. I will tell them how they feel, but they really, really want to tell you something. Like they really want to speak with you. They are looking for communication with you. And it might be also because you, you, you seem to them like someone very confident, somebody that is very spontaneous. They are not spontaneous at all, but they, admire that about you. And so let's clarify with the Oracle what it what it's going on. And if I need, I will clarify with more cards. Okay. We do have finances and career. So for some of you, you could work with this person or they could be your boss or something or whatever. If it's not, it could be that the issue that is basically tormenting them from texting you or being with you or taking this leap of faith, it's finances and career. It's like they have something that they need to show off about their finances, but it's a lie. Like whatever this could be, I don't know what this is exactly, but it's like they're doing things for their appearance. They're doing things for their career or is something related to career that is blocking them from being genuine with you. And, and, and it's basically letting them strategize about everything. So let's say for instance, they are your boss or whatever, and you know, there is finances, there is a career. And so they are afraid to take a leap of faith towards you because you guys work together. That is very possible. Or maybe perhaps they want to be with you, but because of career, they feel blocked about it for maybe they are working with a third party and they cannot leave the third party because, um, yeah, because there is the career involved. It doesn't have to be that way. You know your SP, you know your specific person, so fit the message where it needs to fit. And even if you don't know exactly the situation, it's a, it's the career that it's blocking them. Or it's the career and the finances that it's letting them do all this strategy behind your back or behind, you know, the scene because they want to come off as something that they're not. They might want to come off as very abundant or rich or like I can take care of you type of energy, but it's not true. So they're trying to figure it out ways in which you guys can hang out together and they can, you know, you know, they can finesse you in some way, stuff like that. But this is not all bad because I feel that they're doing all of this whatever thoughts about it because they really want to come towards you. They really want you in their life. They just have to find the confidence to be with you and to do that next step or other steps to declare how they feel about you. They feel like it, this is a big leap of faith for them to be with you for whatever reason you don't know about that is related to career. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we do also have romantic feelings. So they do have romantic feelings for you, but I was, for me, it was evident from the cards that I was seeing, they feel something for you and your feelings are reciprocated. So even if like, let's say this person is a crush or this person has told you, I don't feel anything for you, whatever. It's not true. They feel something for you. Or even if they didn't said anything, they have romantic feelings for you that are more than what they actually ever expressed. But I am seeing that they need to find the courage and the strength to express these feelings towards you, to you, because they really do feel them and they really want to. So I'm not sure how long they will be capable to just take them all in. I, I really think that with this Ace of Swords, they are about to tell you how they feel about you. And I think that after all of the strategy that they're trying, you know what? It could even be that for some of you, the Seven of Swords just represents that they're playing hard to get. But even if, 
they're doing so, it's not working because their feelings that they have for you is so strong and they will just explode at some point. And it might be even very overwhelming with the full card. Let me tell you that they might just come at you and tell you that you're the love of their life. No joke. Like all at once, or they always have loved you, or they always have liked you. And you didn't even have a clue about it because they were playing all these games before. That it could be, especially also if you're manifesting that, because remember, we do manifest our reality. The cards are only a reflection of what we hold inside. So watch my channel where I tell you how to manifest the SP and all that, because it works. Um, if you are manifesting, it's just going exactly how you want them to be. They, they will, they will tell you the truth. They want to tell you how they feel about you. So how they feel about you, they, they are in love with you, with their romantic feelings. And if not, like if it's too early for love, they definitely want to tell you that they care so much about you. They want, they always wanted to be with you. They just lack confidence to tell you. It's like you, for me, in their mind are much more confident than them. They see you as a prize, even though with the seven of swords, they might act like they are the prize, but in their mind, they know that you are the prize because of the strength card, because they feel, they see you as someone very confident. They see you as someone very, very strong, like stronger than them. And so they admire a lot that about you and they want that as well. They will like to embody what you have. Okay. And you might be like, I'm not, I don't feel confident. Well, that's how they feel about you. All right. So what we have, we have the heart of the matter. I'm going to show you that I'm going to read the cards for you guys. So with the heart of the matter, there is more going on than meets the eye. What did I just said? Recognize what it is all about. I told you, I'm telling you like no joke. I, we don't be ass in this channel. We should just say the truth. They feel a lot about you. It's just that you don't know about it with the seven of swords because for whatever freaking reason in their mind, they need to play all these games because otherwise they feel that they're becoming too vulnerable, whatever. They might have been hurt in the past. However, in this channel, I do not like to talk about the past that much because it doesn't matter. It's completely irrelevant at the end of the day. We, we like on this channel to create a different story so we can get what we want. So cards over here are only a help and a tool to guide us towards what we want and you guys want them so that's my main goal so with the heart of the matter and the ace of swords what i'm seeing is that they there is more than meets the eye guys like they have not been telling you everything that they feel about you they feel strongly about you like i mean it they, they might even be totally in love with you and they didn't even say it yet, but they will because it's all bottled up with these cards. And for whatever reason, it's bottled up because of finances and career. So let me know in the comment section if this is making some sense. But um, I really do feel that with the art of the matter, they want to tell you something that you don't know about them. Like the Ace of Swords, in my opinion, represents truth a lot. So they are trying to find the courage to come at you and tell you the truth about not only how they feel, but even the truth about this finances, career kind of situation. So I wouldn't even be surprised if they text you today or tomorrow. They're really coming. They are coming. And then I am seeing um, you have to concentrate on your health. Perhaps you have been a lot um, anxious about the situation. You have not been sleeping or eating properly. Um, and so spirit wants you to know that whatever games they're trying to play, even if it's just hard to get, don't worry about it. Like in your mind, you have to affirm they are my girlfriend. They're my boyfriend. They love me. They're constantly thinking about me. They message me all the time. So this will lead, lead you to be less anxious about it. You will live in the wishful field apart from the fact that it's true. But apart from this, you will start taking care of yourself because I think that this situation and the games that I've been playing with it, to you, you have been stressing out about them too much. And this is not serving both of you. It's just not serving you, especially pile number one. So um, rest assured, let this be the only reading that you watch. Don't go and watch other 10 pick a card readings that are only going to confuse your mind. This is the, this is the message that you need to hear. If you crossed on my channel, it's because spirit had enough of you being confused and not thinking about yourself. And they say, let's bring it on. Nega. They can, you know, spill the tea and tell you all the truth about the situation. So please 
Don't watch other 10 pick a cards that will only confuse your mind. Stick with one reading and manifest that one. Just claim it for yourself. Not because I don't want my colleague to get views, they got tons of views. It's because if I tell you something right now and I'm telling you that they're interested in, in you and they're coming at you and then in five minutes from now, you're going to watch 10 pick of cards that are telling yes, no, yes, no all the time. You are not helping the situation, pal number one. You are not helping yourself. You're not helping your manifestation. You're not helping this person to declare their feelings. So let, the, let this be, since it's a good reading, the only reading you watch for a while and just sticks into your mind so it becomes an assumption and you freaking manifest it, okay? Because this guy or this girl needs a little bit of confidence also on your part, energetically, not with words, but energetically to come to you and tell you how they feel about you. And you, on the other hand, you need to stress out a little bit less and you need to take care of yourself because if you do not take a take, oh my God, my language today, if you do not take care of yourself, you cannot offer anything to them. So Archangel Michael is saying, please, pal number one, take care of yourself. So stop stressing out about the situation. Pal number one, they really, really like you. You don't know everything about the situation. They will come to you. They're just trying to find the courage to do that. And the reason that is, is because as a channel message, we also do have right, no, sorry, hug me. So they definitely want to hug you. They will reach out probably purring their feelings to into you, onto you, and they will tell you like, it's not that they don't like you physically, they like you, but they, you have a very strong either telepathy or mental connection, and they just want to be hugged by you. They want to be around you because your light, your strength makes them feel secure, whether when they are alone in their life, things are not very stable, okay? So they really want to tell you what is going on in their life and why they weren't able to tell you how they were feeling before. There is more than meets the eye. Like you literally don't know how much this person is struggling to keep up with their job or with their career or with their persona, with the seven of swords, but they're trying their best. They're trying to the best to come at you and be as honest as possible. I see them. That is how they feel. And that is the direction that they want to take. And they want you to when they will come to you, because they will, um, they are expecting you to be supportive. They are expecting you to hug them and to just say, everything is going to be fine. So it's very important that you know that they are expecting this from you. Okay. And then we do have ride or die. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. And then we have, I am sorry. So there's definitely something to be sorry from. And it is the seven of swords. Maybe, like I said, for some of you, they have been players. For some of you, they have been telling you lies. For some of you, they have been telling you mixed truths or for some others of you they might have pretended that they don't like you but it's not true they might have been rude but they didn't want it to they might have ignored you but they wanted to talk to you they anything like that they want to tell you that they're sorry they are sorry if they behaved really badly they are sorry that they didn't tell you how they felt they're sorry that you didn't know the truth about them but they were scared that you were going to reject them or they were scared about something because they feel that they are not very stable in their life and perhaps they really have nothing to offer to someone like you that is so strong and confident they are very in my opinion, pile number one, they're very afraid of the comparison between you and them, even though they might always come across as more confident, they're really not. And with the ride or die, this is a kind of person, like ride or die reminds me a lot of Lana Del Rey. So maybe this is a person that really likes Lana Del Rey or simply has that kind of mindset where... I don't know why. I just feel Lana Del Rey is like this. I could be wrong. But it's that kind of mindset that... If they really give their heart to someone, everything around them will crumble, like all their mask will fall and they will just want to be with you for the longest time ever. Like they are the kind of person that will come to you and when they find the courage to actually fell in love and say, you are the one that I choose. Like it's you, it's no one else. And they are finding that courage pile number one. When they do that after all the 
tornadoes that they have put you through because this person with the seven of swords might test you a lot as well or they might observe the situation a lot they might observe people a lot and so when they come after somebody it's because they want you to be all in. They want you to be like, you are my ride or die. No matter how messed up I am, no matter what I do, you, you need to accept me. You need to be with me and I'll do the same for you. I will be your ride or die. You will be my ride or die. That's how they feel. That's how intense they feel relationships are. And this is a reason why usually they play a lot of games because they know that when they fall in love, it's a problem because of this nature of just going to the extreme of everything. I mean, you like them. There you go. And then we have the inside universal chakra, Peach Senite 19th, which reduces in numerology to number 10, which is manifestation. So with inside, it's like either you're going to receive like dreams about this person or they are dreaming about you but they are awakening the ace of swords could also be an awakening of some sort where they feel that now they have the inside now they know that you are the one for them they like listen this is what i told you since the beginning of the reading like i really feel that no matter what seven of swords energy game they have been playing no matter the career the problems no matter what if you focus on yourself and know that they are coming, they are getting in their mind with the Ace of Swords, the realization, like the inside. Pile number one is the person that I want. I'll just go for it. I'll just go for it. No matter what, I'll just go for it. I need to t tell pile number one all the truth because the feelings that I feel are very, very strong. Okay, let me clarify the inside card for a minute. Yeah, 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 exactly. We have the High Priestess. There you go. We have the Empress. Yay. And the Hemper. I mean, Soulmate, Twin Flame, whatever label, SB, whatever label you want to put into it. This is a divine connection. They, with the High Priestess, there are secrets that they want to reveal to you. And with the inside card next to the High Priestess as a clarifier, it's almost like they, they know. Now they know that you are their Empress and they want to be at your level. They're coming towards you. And this Empress and Emperor create an empire together. They rule all the tarot. These are major arcana, three major arcana right there. And three is the number of expansion, which could also be pile number one that you guys could help them out financially or you guys, when you will come together, your abundance, your, yeah, your abundance will be expanded with the emperor and the empress. You might be like a really power couple together, but whatever that is, how they feel about you is that they know right now because we're doing how they're feeling about you right now no matter what happened in the past they had an illumination with the high priestess in the inside they know it's you they know it's always been you and it will always be you and they're coming towards you like i said at the beginning if they're not today it's only because they're fine they're trying to find the strength to do it but they will and they will really fast and really they will do it in a very spontaneous way with the full card because they just want you they want they know it's you with the empress and the emperor and they they want you to have all of them like ride or die they will tell you this. They will tell you, if I'm going to be with you, it's going to be like, it's, that's it. It's a ride or die. I'm going to stick with you for the longest time. They are very, very intense energy. Let me get a clarifier with the angels and then I'll let you go. It's pretty cool, huh? I love it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's see any other clarity. Okay, we got the deception. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it, right? So that's it. That's why I stop readings when they become repetitive because this person has put a gigantic mask on. They have been lying to you about something that they were doing with their career. They have been, or maybe they've been deceptive about the way they feel. They pretend that they don't feel anything for you and they're playing hard to get. It's a lie. It's a it's a huge lie. They really, really, really want to come towards you. And let, let's get another card because... 
I know that some of you are doubtful about it, but this is how I feel, especially with the tarot. Yes, thank you, spirit, soulmate. Listen, this is how they're feeling. And the reason why they're feeling is because it doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter what lie they said or how they came across in the past. It doesn't matter because I don't know why, but right now they feel like literally as we speak, they feel an illumination with the Ace of Swords. They feel, I know pile number one is my soulmate. I don't know why, they just got awakened all together. They just, boom, in a moment they realize it's always been pile number one, it will always be pile number one, pile, it, it is pile number one, pile number one is my person. It, that's it. They know, they just know. And I'm telling you, if they know, they will tell you. Just be, just be prepared about it because you've never seen this person like this, I'm telling you. Okay, this is what I see for you, pile number one. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, pile number two, let's figure it out together how your SP or specific person is feeling about you right now now as we speak on this channel i'm blunt straightforward and fast so be prepared for that so let me see together okay we're gonna start with the tarot you got so many tarot so many tarot so we do have i'm gonna start with the bad news and then all the good news so be prepared we do have the seven of swords you're feeling they're feeling separate from you, they're feeling sad, they're feeling in pain, you might feel this as well, you might feel there is no hope left for me, they're gone, whatever, heartbroken. But guess what? It's not gonna stay, it's not gonna last. Why? The world card, and the world card does represent endings and new beginnings, having the manifestation. We have the Wheel of Fortune change happening for you guys, pile number two. We have the star card, Aquarius, wish fulfillment, and the four of wands, engagement, celebrations, partying, being together, love. Guys, what are you doing with your thoughts? Honestly, they, you are the world to them. Like, I don't know why in the world you guys are separate. I don't know what it's going on. Even if this is a crush or I don't know what it's going on because circumstances, in my opinion, do not matter. But some of the two of you, if not both of you are feeling defeated about the situation. You're feeling that they will never be with you. You guys are separate, it's impossible. They broke your heart. And they are thinking the same and this is just nonsense. What are you guys doing with your thoughts? It's nonsense. And with the world card, what I'm seeing is that Listen, I think universe will intervene. Now, with the universe, I mean consciousness. I think that consciousness, which is source, um, it's going to show them or you something and it's going to make you guys reunited or something will happen with the world card. It's like, it's yeah, it is a manifestation. So for instance, if you thought that you were never going to be together ever again, you are going to start seeing them everywhere or you are going to get invited in a place where they are going to see you again with the world card. This could be with the world card also a long distance relationship and if distance is being a problem, no more. That will change. Maybe they'll get a job offer in where you live or they will have the money to come and visit you. Whatever circumstances you have been you have been through, it's going to end. With the world card, there is like, you are the center of their attention. You, They think about you all the time. They wanna be with you all the time with the world card and it will happen. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, this is a faded relationship. And on top of that, this could even be with the star card, a soulmate relationship. However you wanna label it, it doesn't even matter because they feel that you are destiny for them. And I'm sorry for my washing machine doing all of this noise so they feel that they they want to be with you they feel that you are so bright you're like a bright star you are so charming beautiful magnetic I'm hearing with the star card and they whatever situation that 
made them feel in pain, even if it doesn't have to do with you. Like, let's say they might have been in pain for an ex or for situations in their life where they were depressed. They are about to change that. So even if that is the circumstance, they will change. Because with the world card, I am seeing renovation. I am seeing success. And with the wheel of fortune, I am seeing change. And the star represents wish fulfillment. And the four of wands represents you guys are going to be together. That's how they feel about you. They feel this is the pile number two is the person that I want to be with. And if there is something that makes me feel depressed or separated from pile number two, I will fix it. That's how they're feeling. They, they are just very sure. They want to change. They want to be successful for you. They want you to be at their center of their world. And this reminds me of the song of Beyonce, uh, Love on Top, when she sings, you know, finally you have put my love on top. That's what I feel that they are feeling. They're feeling I am going to put the love of pile number two on top. They want to put you on top of their list and they will. They will come at you very strongly and it's going to feel very, pile number two, very movie-like because these are major arcana. So usually when the major arcana play out, it's like everything that happens like in a movie, they come back at you or they come to you and you just all of a sudden they said that they are changed and they want to change and they want to give you all of this wish fulfill. And this they, they are going to they are going to tell you, I want you to be my boyfriend, girlfriend, my companion. They are going to do this because that's the, how they're feeling about you. They're feeling that you're a wife or a husband material. They are feeling that you are a dream come true. And even if you guys are separated and you have been manifesting that back, they are changing their mind about you. Whatever has happened in the past does not longer even exist because they don't even remember it properly. Now, the three of swords represents pain. So this person had to deal, or you even had to deal with a lot of pain, but it's, it's going away with the world and the wheel of fortune and the stars because all the other cards are so powerful that they are outshadowing the three of swords. So they feel that you are the one. They feel that you are the change that they wanted. They want it. You are the, you are the star. You are the angel that they were waiting to, you know, to, to heal their heart. It reminds me also of the song of like uh, Velvet Underground, Velvet Underground, Venus in Furs, when it says, strike their mistress and cure his heart. That's how they feel. They feel that when they have met you, finally their heart could be cured. Finally, they have found somebody that will heal them. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to be a nurse to them, no matter the gender, but that's how they feel about you. They feel like they were surrounded by people that were giving them spades, but when they met you, they were like, now I can heal. Now I finally found someone that really cares about me. Now I really found the one. Now I really found someone that I could, you know, it's that kind of feeling where you feel that everything is lost, and you don't have anything to hope or live for. That's how they felt because of situations in their life that make them feel in that way. But when you meet someone that you really, really like for many reasons, like you like their energy, you like how they are, you like how they think, you like how you are with them, you like the vision. How can I put it? You like how they make you feel, but in a way where they see who you really are and you can be the best version of the, yourselves with them. That's how they see you. They, they feel, finally, I found the one. Finally, I found the person worth fighting for. Finally, I found the person that it's worth staying with. Finally, I found the person that will make me into a better man or a better woman. I can be by my best self with them because just even if you don't do anything, you know, they, you are an inspiration to them with the star card. And so if you're not together, well, you are actually, and you will. So let's clarify that for a minute. Yeah. In fact, we do have engagement. So you guys are together. You guys are heading for marriage. Even if you guys are dealing with someone that you are already dating or you are with, they are going to 
declare their love to you and they want to marry you because the four of wands does represents as well marriage and celebration so definitely i do see that they want to be with you in all senses possible okay and then we also have very soon indicating that nope with the will of fortune you will not have to wait for a long time for this person to declare their feelings or come back to you or whatever the heck you, it's your situation very soon they will be with you they will be with you and nobody else with the star card because they, you make them feel like they are the best version of themselves when they are with you. You make them feel like they finally have a reason to live. And there is a song, right, that is called You Are The Reason. You are the reason. And listen to that song. I can't put it due to copyright reason, but you are the reason. It, it sings something like that, but that is the song the Spirit is showing me. You are the reason. Beautiful. They really want, they want to be with you. And more than that, they, they really want to marry you. Like they are in for the long run. And you might think I'm crazy because probably with the three of swords, you are in separation. Well, sorry, I don't see it. I don't see a separation. So ignore it. It doesn't exist. Then we have speak the language of love. They want to speak with you and they want to tell you how much they love you literally. And the way they're going to do it, it's very obviously unique to their own love language. Some of them, some of you guys will receive a gift for some others of you, you will receive like an intense night out, whatever it's going to be for them, their love language, but they really, really want to show you that they mean it. And they're coming towards you super fast with the very soon card. Like literally it could come like anytime with the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune moves super fast because they feel like that's it i found i found that person worth fighting for and in fact we also do have god is working about it like it's it's working on it god is working on it and god with god would mean consciousness so if you have been manifesting this person well done your consciousness is literally working on this you do not have to do anything i don't want you obsessing about this i don't want you staring at your phone i just want you to affirm i am so happy with my soulmate I am getting engaged with my soulmate. We are so happy together. That's literally the only thing that I want you to think about for the rest of your days until this person comes, because this is what is going to happen. And if you hold it in your consciousness, God is working already on it and he's bringing that to you. Doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't want to hear the story of the past. This person is totally in love with you. They're coming towards you, right? Okay, got it. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we have days. So in a matter of days, they will tell you, you are my boyfriend, you're my girlfriend, you're my husband, you're my wife. Let's be together. Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's do this. In matter of days then you are my ideal. And the reason that is is because with the star guard, you are a star for them. You are everything they always have hoped for in a person. And if you do not feel that about yourself, I highly suggest you to work on your self-concept and just start affirming, I am beautiful. I am magnetic. I am everything they always wanted. I am their ideal. Seriously, start believing that because they already believe that about you. So why don't you believe it? I don't get it because they really do believe that. And they think that you are gorgeous, handsome, beautiful. You are their ideal. You got the mind, you got the body, you got the curves. You got, you got it all with the, you are my, if you think about an ideal, you think about somebody that just has everything that you want. And this is why they want to be the best version of themselves when they are with you. They, they literally woke up and they were like, enough with this depression, enough with this three of swords energy. I need, I need to be my best self for pile number two, because pile number two is my dream come true. Pile number two is my ideal. Really? really. And the reason that is, is because they are your soulmate. So if you love labels, this is a confirmation that yes, you guys are connected on a very deep spiritual level. They have traveled the eons of time to meet you again in this illusionary reality. And I'm telling you, they're not willing to let you go once more. And then 
to conclude, we also have momentum. So in terms of manifestation, pile number two, the situation is gaining momentum. You will feel it. You will see signs all over the place. Remember the signs never ever precede manifestation, but they are a byproduct of the manifestation. So if you start seeing signs everywhere, start jumping from joy because it's it's just happening in a matter of days, okay? If not even today. This could be also a sign. And with the momentum card, what else do we really have to say? God is working on it. You're gaining momentum and be, be prepared because it's coming. You will be in a relationship very soon with your specific person because they have decided that you are the one for them, period. I declare it right now. I see it through the cards, okay? So this is what I see for you, pile number two. I hope the reading resonated and I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, pile number three and welcome to your reading. Let's talk about how do they feel about you right now whenever you're watching this reading, your SP, which only means specific person, SP, specific person. And um, yeah, we are very blunt and straightforward in this reading, so chill and get accustomed to that. So, okay, you got a lot of tarot. So we're gonna start with the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Mm -hmm. The Knight of Pentacles, oh my God, somebody moves really slow because they don't know what to do about the situation. Sun, okay, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, did I say that? Then we have the Three of Cups, okay, the Devil. Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Oh dear Lord, that's a lot. Pile number three, what is going on? Okay, this person with the devil card might be they might be hiding the way they, they might be hiding how they're feeling about you. They might not say entirely the truth. They're very passionate about you. They're very, can you say that on YouTube, sexually attracted by you? Okay, right, can you say that? And um, they, yeah, they're very, very passionate. They wanna be with you physically in that sense. However, with this devil card next to the three of cups, they give me a bit the vibe of somebody that likes to party a lot, either drinks a lot or has some sort of addiction, food, alcohol, drugs, whatever it could be. I don't judge anybody, but that's the vibe that they're in right now. The Three of Cups, everybody um, just say that they're third party. There could be third parties. However, I, with this um, with this deck, I don't feel that it's anything serious. If they ever have a flirt with someone else, it's never something that stays because it's about the party. It's just about the fun with the devil card. It never truly stays. But we have the sun and we have the knight of pentacles and the eight of swords. So they might be in this energy where they really like you and they're really passionate about you, but their life is like, I want to have fun. I don't want to commit to anybody with the three of cups. However, they are blocked about reaching out to you because they might really like you or they might see you with the sun as like somebody that has a lot of light to them, someone that is worth committing to, someone that is healthy with the sun card, and they might feel instead that they're not very healthy for you. And so with the Knight of Pentacles, they are afraid, and the Eight of Swords especially, they feel very blocked to come towards you. However, the Knight of Pentacles, even though it is a knight that doesn't move very fast, still moves. So they are conflicted about coming towards you, but slowly but steadily they are coming towards you. But the, the issue is, I don't know how much they have to offer to you. We will have to clarify because this person is heavily damaged with the devil card. Now, I believe in manifestation, we can change everything, even a person. So if you want to see them in a different light, you can help them out by affirming, my specific person is completely healed. My specific person is not an addict. My specific person fill in the blank. And you see them in your imagination in the way you want them to be. And you will help them out healing whatever issue they might have right now. Because the interest is there with the sun card. They really see you as someone pure, full of light. They, someone that it's better than them to be honest, that's what I'm seeing. But because of their surroundings and because of the de their demons, their inner demons, they feel very blocked about 
really come in with a commitment towards you. So they do little steps towards you because they feel that you are a bright sun and they are the darkness. So how do we are, how we are really going to figure this out? They don't know how to figure this out because they don't know how to fight their own demons. They want you. I'm not saying that they don't want you, but it's like, how can the night live with the day, the daylight? It's a, it's an issue. You know, they feel that there is an issue where you are light and they're darkness. So we will have to see whether or not they want to heal this about themselves. You can send them love and you can send them you know, like I said before, you can see them in a different light. So they will change. We have healing family issue. And the problem that the, the addiction or the devil energy that they're faced with, it's because of family issues that maybe you don't know about, you might know about. It's because they have a lot of pressure from their family or because when they were children, they got abused. They have some sort of problems. That is for sure. A hundred percent. And these problems are coming either from their childhood or from their family. And so it's what it's keeping them in this devil energy. Now, like I said, the devil does imply also that they're passionate about you. However, I have to go with what I'm feeling. And with the three of cups, I'm feeling that they're wasting themselves away in parties or they're wasting themselves away in certain type of behaviors where it's not that they don't want you. Clearly, they're coming towards you with the Knight of Pentacles. They clearly... Um, send you signs or they will send you signs that they're interested in you. However, they feel very blocked about being with you because they don't know how to, With but they really like you. But you, they see you as someone different from them in the sense that you don't have the issue that they have. You don't have the darkness that they have. You're, you're a lot purer in their mind. Does it make sense? And it all comes down to their family issues, whatever they are dealing with internally. But we also do have keep an open mind. So like I said, I believe in manifestation. So keep an open mind about them changing because I'm not saying that they won't change. Maybe they didn't have any reason to change before they met you. But now that they can see a bright sun, they might say, hey, going under the sun, it's not really that bad. Being with pile number three might be really good for me. Um, so keep an open mind because your soulmate may do things that you don't expect or they might change, especially if you envision the change in them, they will conform. And you can watch more about everyone as you're pushed out in my channel, A Radio Alchemy, where I explain to you this very thing about people changing according to the vision that you have about them and how they, this manifests in, into reality. So keep an open mind because there is a lot about them that you might not know. And especially you don't know a lot about the pain that they had in their soul due to their family issue. They might even have in the present moment, a complicated family situation. I feel a lot of pressure coming up from their family. And so like I said, they are coming towards you. They want to offer you something with the Knight of Pentacles because Knight of Pentacles has a pentacle, is there. It wants to offer you something, but they don't know how to properly do it. So they do it in a very slow, signy kind of way. But keep an open mind. Keep an open mind because they can change, okay? And the reason that is, I is because we do have expressed love through your gifts. So I am seeing them coming towards you with a gift. They want to give you something in order to put you even on a standby and just tell you, I care about you and I wish that I could be the person that you want me to be, but I'm not yet. But keep this to know that I really care about you. So I'm seeing that they want to give you a gift or at least they're thinking about giving you something to express their love. But this inner demon is very strong. The devil card is a major arcana. So the situation has to change within them about their wounds and it can change and you can do it. So please don't take this as a doom prediction. Then is, uh, this card states from Archangel Michael, you and your loved ones are safe. Um, they want to keep you safe. They know that you are a pure, healthy individual and they don't want you to drag. You, they don't want to drag you, sorry, into the darkness and into hell with them. So that's why they're not coming at you in the way that you want to, because they know that if they will, they will, they will get you in places that are not good for you. And they want to keep you away from that. 
Sorry to say, but this is what I'm seeing. And so it is a complicated situation. Now I am seeing, I am sure, they're very sure about the fact that they like you. So please, if they don't come towards you, don't even start with the paranoia. I'm not beautiful. I'm not enough. They don't want me. It's not true. It's not about you. It's about what they're dealing with, which you probably don't even know about. You don't know the entire story. They are very sure about the fact that they like you, but they don't know how to be with you. Okay, is it this clear? I hope I don't have to repeat myself. And then we have it's over. And then we have narcissistic. Um, they might be a little bit narcissistic or in the narcissism, it is really about their ego with the devil card. It is really about a lifestyle that they find hard to leave. And with it's over, if they ever said that it's over or they will say that it's over, it's because they want to protect you because they see you as someone pure. They, with this card, your loved ones are safe. They want to protect your environment and they want to protect you from their inner demons, their, and their, their life because they don't live a very healthy life with the devil card and the three of cups. They want to protect you from that. I don't know whether they really mean it if it's over because in their mind, I feel that they feel that it's over. They shouldn't be with you because they don't know how to be with you physically and literally. They don't know how to change. They don't even know where to start, but I don't know whether this is something that they truly feel or they just feel right now. I will have to clarify that. And then we also have the regeneration. Yeah, they want, they might be thinking that, that it's over and it's better for you to stay away from them. But also I feel that the passion is too strong towards you that it won't be over. But you have to know that you have to start helping them out, not by being a nurse towards them, by, by envisioning them changing and changing their addiction and healing this family issues, which you can, you can. So what is the future between pile number three and their SP? Is it really over or actually it's only because they are afraid that they cannot change? They're stalking you. They're always watching what you're posting, what you're doing. They're keeping a very close eyes. Um, I think that they want you, but they don't know how to. They really don't know how to. The magician, yeah, they like control a lot. They like to control the situation. And to be honest, even if they said that it's over or that's their vibe today, actually in the back of their mind, they're manifesting you. So this is a very weird person. It's a person that says it's over. I'm not good for pile number three. I live a shitty life or whatever, but they want to see you everywhere. They want to stumble upon you if you go out. They want to manifest you. And this is because with the sun card, they see hope in you. They see a door of regeneration like, but what if I actually go with pile number one, pile number three, sorry. And what if actually I can get myself out of this mess once and for all? But even though they are thinking these thoughts and they do want to manifest you and they do want to see you everywhere and they do like you, they don't know how to, to do it. So it's a weird situation. Yeah, they're very conflicted in their emotions about coming towards you. So I wouldn't necessarily expect a text from them or them asking you out. I will remain very open-minded about what is going to happen because most likely you're going to stumble upon them. And that's like, that's how the movement is going to show. And then they're going to give you a gift or they're going to do something to show you that they care because they, they are not able to let you go. However, they find very hard. They, they really feel conflicted about how do I resolve my freaking issues, which are so many. They're juggling their emotions and they don't know how to, but I think they will figure it out with the magician. And we do have the nine of wands. So yeah, they're very hurt. There is a lot of their past. They are deeply wounded because of family issues or things that happened in the past. And so this person needs a lot of healing. But in my opinion, with the regeneration card, they will figure it out. The sun card, it's like you are probably a hope for them that they can actually figure this out. We do have children. They might even think that having children with you might be a solution. I know it's not, but they might have this silly thoughts like, oh, but what if like I'm just going to be with pile number three and we're going to have a child together and I'm going to fuck 
finally feel better and, and I don't know, clean myself, detox myself or whatever. They might have not even the thoughts because they are trying in their mind to figure out a way to cut, to go out of these wounds and feel better and be better, but they don't know how to. And because they don't know how to, they don't know how to be with you, which you are a completely different person, which doesn't have these issues and you, they see you as very pure and very healthy, especially. So this person also with the children card could be the children obviously are affecting your love life, but in general, they're acting a little bit childlike with the devil card and three of cups. They like to party, go out and hang out but no it's not over yet because I am seeing a reconciliation this card also gives me the vibe of past life soulmates um, so somebody that has recognized your light has recognized that you guys have been together in past lives as well and it's not over they might say it right now because simply they don't know how to make this work but it's not over. They really, really want you. And you are a possibility for them to rejuvenate themselves and to just finally resolve whatever these issues are all about because these are strong issues. And with the give your relationship a chance on your hand, pile number three, I really think that there is a possibility to work on your partnership. And I really see that there is a possibility for you to help this person out if you are willing to do so starting from your mind, starting from your imagination. And I think that you can do guys, you can do this. This situation can be healed. They can be healed. And we're just waiting probably for the right person to, to show them that there is a better way because with the three of cups and the devil, they might be constantly surrounded by people that do not have the best intentions towards them, or they might be surrounded by people that are as wounded as them. And so they are, they are no help because when you are surrounded by people that have the same issues as you, or they did, they don't have the best interests upon you. They always tell you, yes, they never confront, make you confront your truth. They use you for a various reason, or they might have the same addiction as you. And so when you are surrounded by people like that, you don't even see that there is a different dimension and a different world out there. But be when they met you, they realized there is a whole new world out there. I do not have to be with these people. I do not have to live this life. Pound number three is completely happy, living a completely different in life and actually being healthy. So by seeing you, they saw what is possible. But now from seeing it and wanting you and understanding that this is possible to how to do it, there is a long journey to that. And I'm going to be honest. But if you are willing to put in the work, if you're willing to give them a chance, they will reconcile with you because they see you as someone important and someone that can give them a regeneration. They see you as a door out, you know, from their mess, the mess that they have in their mind and in their life. And they might not have actually a lot of people that, that they could, you know, lean on. Okay. So this is what I see for you, pile number three. I hope the reading resonated and makes sense. If not, just let it fly away. And I see you guys later in another of my Pika card readings. And keep in mind, you're never wrong if you follow love. Bye.